A comeback from an emotionally draining week in Moore County. The town of Carthage moving on from the first half of the week in darkness to spending the weekend with bright lights and spreading Christmas cheer. Light it up in Moore County. I feel lucky. <laughs> I feel really lucky. I mean, we feel, I, I think you feel lucky and blessed. I feel lucky and blessed because it's, you don't realize how much you need it until you lose it. And then you're like, oh, yeah, we need it a lot. The Carthage Christmas Parade held on Saturday for the first time. We used to have it on Tuesday nights. And, you know, it, we wouldn't have been able to have it this past Tuesday because all the power been out. But we are so glad and so excited. The bright experience <laughs> and free candy much needed for families recovering from the days-long power outage that ended on Wednesday. I'm glad that they kept it going because I think a lot of people would have been disappointed. And I think it's good to come out and just celebrate together, you know, just be together and having the power back on. It's awesome. It was an unfortunate event. Um, but, you know, the people of the community always come together and it's, you know, it's lovely to see, especially this time of year. Not giving attention to who's responsible for the attack on the substations. We don't want to think about bad things. They do happen, yes, but they've happened so often lately that it makes you very sad. So I'm happy to be with my family, that they're okay, that we have power. And we're going to be at this beautiful parade tonight and have some hot chocolate. The attention is on Moore County instead, with plenty of reasons to be thankful. We are Moore County strong, that's all I can say. I mean, I'm just tickled to death. And the community came together. I mean, you wouldn't believe the other people came down there and fed people when the power was out and everything. It was something to see. Brought tears to my eyes. The push for tips in the Moore County power grid attack continues with a reward of up to $75,000 for information leading to an arrest. Reporting in Carthage, Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.